When summer draws near in Japan, you learn to recognize the signs, and one of the first is Tanabata Festival. Yeah. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Look at, oh Sarah, you too, huh? Look at that, Evan. Oh, so nice, ladies. Mama-chan, helping out, huh? I did hair. Did hair. Hair and makeup department it came over. <laughs> Are you going to do a dance today? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, how pretty. I bet it's going to look great. Yeah, do you remember your dance, Izzy, when you did your dance? So, Sarah, you're all dressed up to go watch them, too. I love it. Oh. While most of the Western world is already on summer break, in Japan, school is still going strong in July. But when Tanabata Festival comes, you know that summer break is not too far away. Two years ago, Joshua participated in his last Tanabata festival at his preschool. The same thing the Black Girls are going to do today. Hey, Sarah, we got a great spot to watch Joshua's Tanabata, huh? Mm -hmm. Isn't it nice? You're just barely tall enough to see from up here. <laughs> Walking around the circle there. Tanabata is a fun yearly tradition in many of the preschools in Japan, and we encourage you to check out our other videos on it. Festivals are a big part of summer life in Japan, and this year we're checking out a fun little local street festival near us. Parents pay for all kinds of fun little games for the kids to play and get prizes. These kinds of street festivals can be found all over Japan. Oh, let's see, Josh is going to pull one. Oh, say arigato. Whoa, that's cool. Nice. さあ、さあ。さあ、さあ。さあ、さあ。さあ、さあ。さあ、さあ。さあ、さあ。さあ、さあ。さあ、さあ。さあ、さあ。さあ、さあ。さあ、さあ。さあ、さあ。さあ、
wonderful gentleman, five years old. Look at everybody tearing in to those cookies. How's the cookies? Yeah. This cake's got it going on. There's dinosaurs, oh, yeah. Donkey Kong. The best cake for five year olds. Oh, you see saw on there. Wow. 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 Yummy. Yummy, Lulu. But if there's one thing I love about the summer, whether here in Japan or where I grew up in America, it's the long summer days capped by a beautiful sunset to end the day. What a sunset tonight, huh, dude? Yeah. Isn't that amazing? <sighs> What's your favorite part about the sunset? That sometimes it goes in the drain. That sometimes it goes in the drain? Yeah, that only happened that one time, didn't it? Yeah, it was. The sun is going down into that big water tower. It's going to be stored over there overnight and then come out tomorrow morning. But it's not just the summer sunsets that I love. To me, there's nothing like a good summer thunderstorm. The kind that makes me grab the camera to watch the show. Does anyone else love a good thunderstorm? Summertime weather can flip fast. A thunderstorm one night and stifling heat the next day. Staying inside sometimes is the best option, but just because you're inside doesn't mean you have to be on a screen of some sort. He was a small baby, just four months old, and like the men in front of him, he was dressed in a new robe, a beautifully colored kimono. He's bound to be lucky, said the women to each other again. He has a good name too, Toyohiko. Toyohiko. <laughs> And he oh, oh boy. Mommy's got Sarah, cakes. Sarah, I need Yum. to help mommy record my cooking channel. Not <gasps> Sarah. This is not a chat on the cooking channel. And <laughs> you, you want to help me? <laughs> Reading a biography about people who have made a positive impact in Japan is inspiring. And practicing for our own church music team also ranks high on the list of things to do inside. Rebecca and Anna are trying out for the music team and want to be ready. I'm in charge of the worship teams, so I'm making sure they are. But even when it's hot, there are good options of things to do outside if you know how to stay cool. Here come the not so little little. Eating their kaki gori along the way. How's your kaki gori? Good, perfect summertime treat. Well, Mama Chan, you should just brought your book, huh? Should have. Kaki gori, or Japanese shaved ice, is a great way to stay cool in the summertime. But there are other great ways to do it as well. What you looking at there, Mama Chan? Inflatable boats. Inflatable boats. Camping is on the horizon. And let's not overlook the best way to cool off in the summer, water. Climbing up the mountain. Wow, good job. Here comes the Anna cakes. It's kind of cold. She's ready. It's kind of cold. It's kind of cold. Anna, let's see. How's the water? <laughs> the pool at my school. Look at Sarah, just right in. Way to go, Sarah. But the real summer water challenge was about to begin at the headwaters of this little artificial stream. Climbing up, oh yeah. You want to come follow us because we're going to do a challenge. Oh, you're going to do a challenge? Trust me when I say this water on a hot day is cold. Level one, put your feet in the water. That feet in the water. Get some water in your hands and splash your legs. Level like seven or something. What? Only a knee. Barely started. Uh, I said sit on the rock. Oh. Level three. Go. Stand up. In the water. It's looking really funny. Level four. Feel down. Oh. 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 Put your knees on the ground. The tail tap is not. Anna's got a good job. She just has to tell everyone what to do, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 
Under Anna's direction, the challenge quickly escalated. Now, put your hands in the water. Okay, now lean forward. I can't do that! You have to! Like Dasha. My goodness! Oh, Becca is out! Look at that hand! Whoa, careful, guys! Get her nice and wet. Nice and wet. There's nothing like a water challenge to cool things off in the summer. And you need it because things sure get hot. I'll tell you what, it is full on hot now. Summer in Japan, you get over 35 degrees Celsius, up to 40 degrees Celsius, and it sure bakes. Whether in school or on break, summer in Japan doesn't mean a break from homework. What you working on, Sada-chan? Homework. Homework? Homework makes the dream work. Homework makes the boring work. Oh, but it's so necessary. Way to go, Sarah. There's some kids in my class that likes homework. You, you gonna go outside? I have enduring memories from my childhood summers. The long days, warm nights, and time spent playing. It's far too easy to get caught up in the speed of life that you don't slow down and savor each moment as a special <laughs> gift. I hit it with the bottom of my foot so that it's... <laughs> oh my. Get it, get it. That hurt? No. She sure did, way to go. <laughs> nice. How's it going, ladies? Hi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> These simple moments are the ones that I'll look back and treasure because family is above everything else a blessing. What's happening, Sarah? <laughs> but even when you think the day is done, summer in Japan can still surprise you. I don't want to go to school. And unexpected events can lead to new experiences. Look, look who it is! Oh my goodness, the whole crew is here. Oh, welcome back, guys. <sighs> like Mama Chan picking up the camera. Daddy's not here, so we're going to use his camera. Sarah, are you catching the fireworks? It's falling. So we are seeing you have a camera. Look at Daddy. Daddy's home. Daddy, it's fireworks! Can you see it real good? Yeah, really good. Look at this. Soon I was back to take over filming duties, and I brought some good friends from my school days with me. How special these summer days are turning out to be, and they're only getting started. Is this fun though, watching it from our... Nice, I don't have to do anything. I know, just all from right here. It just so happens that this was the Tokyo fireworks show we saw last year along the river. What a fun show that was. Yeah, that is. Whoa! Oh my goodness. Whoa! Oh my stars. That is a whole lot of fireworks. Ooh. Whoa. Oh. Wow, good golly. Yeah. Woo. Look 
Look at all the people now going home. Ruth called her dad. In Brazil. In Brazil. He watched the finale. He got to see the finale. And now, time to go home. Sarah needs to sleep. <laughs> but at last, the best part of summer is yet to come for next week on Life in Japan. It's almost. Natsuyasumi. Natsuyasumi. What are we doing over here? What is this? Countdown. Ripping the countdown. We finally reached the last day of school and the first day of summer break on Life in Japan. Becca's here. <laughs> Rip it. Oh man, what's authority. Make sure to subscribe to not miss the next episode. Thank you.